Hey guys, what's up? Joe here. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for checking out the channel. And today is the reveal video of the new bike. And that is not it. If you're new to my channel, <laughs> that is not my new bike. If you aren't new to the channel, you know that is my Trident 660, which um, is now up for sale. And we do have a potential buyer for it. So we will talk about it in a little bit. But I've been talking about getting a new bike for a couple months now. I finally ended up getting one. What did I get? There she is, 2009 Harley-Davidson FXD Superglide. This bike uh, is in excellent shape, uh, great condition. Uh, we've got this, it's got the 96 uh, motor, it is fuel injected. It also has Vance and Himes 2-in-1. There's really not much done to it, it's pretty stock. Uh, it's got two brand new Dunlop tires, front and back, all serviced by Harley-Davidson. Had just had all the fluids changed, um, tune up uh, everything. The thing is pristine, ready to go. The only thing I did, I just replaced this headlight. It had the uh, incandescent light. I put on the the LED, and that's it. This thing is ready to go. The previous owner was a female. She had these forward controls put on when she bought the bike from Harley. I still have. We've got the original receipts for every little thing she did, even. She bought it in one day because this blinker was loose and Harley tightened it up for her, but everything was done by Harley Davidson, uh, serviced and installed. The Vance and Hines was purchased at Harley. They installed it. They installed the fuel pack. They installed the, uh, the forward controls. Uh, the thing shifts like butter, no clunking, no nothing. Uh, I got, it came with this two up seat. It also came with this solar seat, came with the sissy bar, came with this, you know, that goes over the fender when you have the solar seat on. Check it out. Even have a full service manual, 2009 Dyna manual. This is like, that's great to have, I, especially since I'm gonna be doing all the maintenance myself. Now I have a full service manual, which is awesome to have. Plus I have all the receipts that she ever did on this bike. Uh, what did I get it for? Actually, it's got 7,600 miles on it when I picked it up and I got it for $6,600. Uh, the asking price was 69, but we settled at, at 66. And for Long Island, that is actually a, a very good price for 2009 Dyna. There's a bunch of others that I was looking at that I had bookmarked that I wanted to see, and they were uh, more expensive. They were somewhere older and more miles and still more expensive, going for seven, 8,000, even up to 9,000, I think some of them were. So I'm pretty stoked. I gotta say, the person that I bought it from, it was actually a friend of a friend, they knew the person. I was actually looking at another bike, a 2002, that was uh, carbureted, also in great shape. Uh, had like 6,000 miles on it, was $6,500. But, uh, you know, it was also the 88 motor, it was a five speed, this is a six speed, this is the 96 motor. So I was ready to go to the, the pick up the other one like the following day and then my buddy calls me and says hey i know someone that's you know selling this bike um you know talk to him he said you know you're first in line blah 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 so that's it i spoke with him and i said listen I, I i want the bike um i'll come and pick it up so that's what i did i, I me and my buddy actually my cousin mike we um we went there on saturday gave the guy cash i got a u-haul trailer trail it at home, put it parked in the garage. Unfortunately, after buying this thing, it has now been like 20, 30 degrees for the last couple days. I just registered and insured it. Just uh, today I got it on the road and of course it's 30 degrees out and I'm riding and it, it's freezing cold. So, um, I don't know what I'm gonna be doing to it. It's got a, they did the, the primary inner and outer. They did a chrome primary. Uh, Vance and Hines. Other than that, like I said, it's pretty much, pretty much stock. And other than the tail light that that I, I mean the headlight that I just did, so I don't know what I'm going to do to it. I'm just going to leave it. I would I thought I was going to go right to mid controls, but I think I'm going to keep the forward controls for now, so I can get used to them, see how I like them. I thought so far they don't bother me, but I've only rode it, you know, <laughs> maybe 15 minutes. So I really can't tell. We'll see how that goes. But I'm going to keep them for a while until I really get a good idea of whether or not I want to get rid of those forward controls. Um, now, Trident. What are we doing with the Trident? I, oh man, I love this bike. I really do. I don't want to sell it, but I put it up. And I was like, you know what? If I don't get my price, I'm not gonna sell it. I don't need to sell it. I don't owe a thing on it. Um, 
So I put it up and I got a lot of, a lot of interest in it. I had a guy come over the weekend, actually right after selling this bike, the next day a guy came to look at this bike, left me a $2,000 deposit, gave me my asking price, and that's it. He's coming back this weekend to deliver the rest of the cash and he's coming with a trailer and picking it up. So I'm like, I hate to see it go because I really do love this bike. It's such a nice bike. And compared to the Harley, it's different. You can't compare a, a Trident to a, to a Harley, two completely different bikes. But yes, this has the speed and this isn't even a sports bike, but you, you twist that throttle and it goes. The Harley, it, it's, you know, it, although it's 96 and it's got power, it's, you know, it's not going to beat it off the line. The Trident is definitely going to win. But I definitely feel more planted on that and secure uh, as far as the limited amount that I have ridden it so far. You, you definitely feel planted in the ground. So, uh, I would have loved to keep two bikes, but knowing me, now that I have a Harley, I'm probably always going to want to take that out, especially since a lot of the guys I ride with ride Harleys, and this thing would probably just be sitting in the garage, and I'd be like, oh, why am I keeping this? I could sell it, especially now it's springtime, bikes are hot, a lot of the dealers don't even have these in stock, so the uh, you know used ones are really going for top dollar, so you got to strike when the iron's hot, so that's what I did, I, I put it up. And I got what I wanted. And, you know, if you remember, I bought this bike used from Triumph with only 400 miles on it. So when I bought it, I didn't have to pay the dealer fees and the setup fees and the transportation fees. So I got this bike for $7,700 and I'm selling it for 76. So not a bad deal, right? <laughs> not a bad deal at all. I got to drive it around for six months. Um, and there we go. And then I got this guy for 6,600. So sold this, got this, got a few bucks in my pocket. I want to get some bags. Uh, there's some other things I want to do. I want to change these out to LED and the brake lights to LED and the, the rear turn signals. I was thinking of maybe relocating these down onto the bars. I don't know. Lots of lots to do. There's a it's a blank slate and nothing mechanically that needs to be done. And I'm just gonna enjoy it. So triumph. I am sad to see you go, but this is it now. This is my Harley, um, and I can't wait for the weather to warm up and get out there and ride. So thanks for tuning in, everyone. Thanks for checking out the video. Thanks for dealing with me all these months as I keep talking about a new bike and never delivering, and here it is. Now I got one. All right, guys, I'll catch you next time. Thanks again. Have a great one.